Hi everyone, and welcome back to Corel Painter Essential 6. In this video, I'm going to be going over the Wizard Brush Pack with you. This brush pack is actually pretty interesting because most of the brushes in this pack, um, they don't really have a specific intention other than, than intended magical effects. Uh, as you can see by this picture here, each stroke is pretty specific on what it does, um, but it's based, again, just on making a very wizard-like effect that will help you to express things um, in, in areas, of course, of that subject matter. But let's go ahead and look at each brush and see what it does. These are pretty exciting. Um, I kind of find myself using them here and there, you know, just for different illustrations or photos like this, um, just to add that kind of effect. So we're going to start off with the bolt brush. And as you can see, that's kind of where we got this, some of this wired effect in here over by the hand. And that can be used a lot, you know, comp in, in a composition sense or really just, just to create that kind of electric static. Let's move on to the, to the flow brush where we can see we kind of had some of that over here. You can turn the glow on and off. So let's select some of that. That's kind of really fun to play with. <laughs> Let's go on the actual layer and see if that, yeah, that makes a difference. I recommend using these on the actual layer itself. You don't have some color problems. So you can see how that definitely has a cool magical effect that, you know, just, just adds to this one here. Let's go ahead and keep that and we'll go down to pop. This one's kind of my favorite, actually. You see these little popping areas over here and over here. And what you can do is you can select a hue, right? And you can make make you know, note of your how big you want it. And then you press, and it adds this little pop. And you can kind of, I'm kind of taking my time. Or you can make like a fast one. Or make one that really kind of stands out. So let's go ahead and add some pops around here. Maybe now you can see what I mean by a specific magical effect with real, no real intention behind it. Kind of in the different brush packs, you know, smoke has an, an intention, excuse me, intention versus versus flame. In this one, this is just a different way of stacking these little effects that I just find are just amazing. So let's go over to sparkles and this one. Let's use a purple hue, and it's almost like the pop, but more of an electric charge. Maybe I can bring more of that right on in over here. Super cool to watch and play with. And then we have the spell brush. And what the spell brush does is it allows us to kind of make it look like something else is going on. I like to just kind of color pick around and see what, that's a little too much. What that I can do. But it just kind of adds this, this whoa, something is, something's happening over here. And I think it can be used for composition reasons too. So for example, if I wanted to add this to the hand, I just go like that and then so this is backed up on a different layer. I'd back out that way. Kind of cool, huh? So as you can see, you know, just going, I'm all, I'm only down here to the spell brush, and I've already added a lot more than what's in the beginning of this. Whoops. So that being said, let's move on over to our spirit brush here. And what this one does is it, it's similar to the flow brush, but it's got more of a glow to it and more of a more of a charge, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this. Excuse me for color picking so much. I would just like to get just kind of the right color variation that's going on. And you can see this is kind of like what we had up here in the back of this atmosphere, but again, it's, it charges so it can be added a little more to the foreground. 
So then that that goes to the next brush. I think this is a good timing for this. This is the, the transform brush. And what I find this useful for, whoops, is adding kind of a, a texture to your to your magical effect. So if I didn't like so much of this, but I wanted to keep it, you know, I could kind of just texture it up and you know, quote unquote trans transform it. I really like what's going on there, but you know, I just needed to brush it out a little, move things around for just a minute, you know. So that kind of can help you to bring things back into focus. If you wanted to focus on this area, let's say I want to take focus away from the hand. Maybe I would take this transform brush and kind of scuffle up the hand a little. Now we've got more focus up here in this area of light. I think that would be a pretty, um, pretty stupid mistake to make in this picture since that the focus would be the hand. So let's go ahead and back out of that. There we go. And then the wind brush is almost the same thing as uh, as this spirit brush and the flow brush, but a lot more subtle. It's just got that subtle charge to it. So these kind of have somewhat of an intention since they're similar. Let's do a little huge a hue difference here. That's kind of fun. So you can kind of see what you're going to get with with these three and how that kind of helps you compositionally. And the other magical brushes I find kind of create an effect around those three. Um, and then not last but not least, this zap brush is pretty fun. And I like to use this one with more of like a pretty hot color. So you can kind of see how that adds kind of an overlay of um, of heat. It's almost it's almost like a like a magical microwave. It looks like uh, so I th I find that one kind of fun because I can come over here and kind of let's even use like some straight warm colors and we could we can heat different areas and then that brings us to our last brush the zing brush and I find this one pretty fun to just go over whatever you've done and just kind of overlay it. I can take some of this blue and I think when something glows it instantly brings it to the foreground. I've never really seen something glow and go back into the background. I think that's usually when something softens. But something with a glow like this, this really this really um, brings it forward because it, it has that edge. So this is pretty good to take over any, let's say I wanted this ribbon over here to come to the foreground. I'm just going to take a bright saturated color. Let's even make it, you know, like a green or something. And as I kind of bring that across, it brings all this to the foreground. And maybe I want to back that out a little. Maybe I, you know, don't want as much of that. But that edge definitely brings this all up front and kind of adds that finishing touch. So that's the wizard pack. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I really enjoy playing with these brushes. And I'm curious to see what other people create them. Um, so again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you around the internet.